Good morning. It is Thursday. Okay, so what a week. I hope everyone's getting used to at-home learning and doing all of your work with your parents and your sisters and your brothers and your cousins and whoever else that you are doing it with. So today is... Well, first of all, today is... Kamariana's birthday, so happy birthday to Kamariana. It is April the 9th, so bye-bye Thursday, April the 9th. Tomorrow, if we were going to school, would be a holiday, so it is April the 10th. Um, and then Saturday, April the 11th, and then Sunday is Easter, April the 12th. Okay, so moving over here, let's write our date, and it is April, A-P-R-I-L, the 9th, 2020, okay, and Thursday, T-H-U-R-S, D A Y. And you should still be writing your first and last name. And then you will also see that I posted a math video counting to a hundred and counting by tens. So today I want you to write in your journal the numbers. I want you to write to 50. One all the way up to 50. Make sure all of your numbers are not backwards. Let mom and dad or somebody look at it and make sure that they're organized and neat and in a straight line, okay? Also make sure that they go from left to right. I hope that you're also making your sight word wall at home so that you can have that because we will start writing together soon. And I want you to be able to have your own word wall at home to look at while you're writing because I'll ask you to send pictures of your writing to me. Kind of like we do on Whiteboard Wednesdays so I can see what sight words you know, what sight words you don't, okay? And we're gonna go outside and read a story. Oh, there's Blaze. Say hi, Blaze. Say good morning to the kids. Blaze! My big husky puppy. Okay, so I am going to read a fable today. Can you see that? There we go. A fable. A fable is a type of folk tale. Fables usually are short. They have talking animals. They take place outside. They teach a lesson. So, famous fables that you may have read is The Fox and the Grapes, The Lion and the Mouse, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, The Tortoise and the Hare, and The Fox and the Crow. Okay, today, Miss Cowan is going to read to you It's called You Are All My Favorites. That is the title of the book. Okay. The <clears throat> illustrator, what does the illustrator do? Draws the pictures. Is Sam McBeatney. And the author is Anita Jerem. Okay. Also, this book was published. That's the people that actually made the book by Candlewick Press in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Okay? So, just by looking at the front, what do we think this book is going to be about? Maybe some friends hanging out in the forest. Um, maybe that they're doing nice things for each other. They're holding hands. They're looking at each other. Um, so let's find out.
Once upon a time, there was a mother bear, a father bear, and three baby bears. A first baby bear, a second baby bear, Blaze, it's okay. And a third baby bear. Blaze, you're okay, Bubba. I'm reading the book. Shh. Whoever tucked them in at night always said the same thing to them. You are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole world. Does your mama tell you that? I tell my kids. <laughs> One night after Mama Bear had tucked them in, after she... After, <laughs> you are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole world. One night after baby bear had tucked, mama bear had tucked them in and she had said, you're the most wonderful baby bears in the whole world. The baby bears began to wonder. I wonder what they're wondering about. He's making noise. Momo's gone. But how do you know, they asked their mommy bear. How do you know that we are the most wonderful baby bears in the whole world? Because your daddy told me, said mommy bear. Your daddy saw you on the night that you were born and said, and I remember it very well, he said, those are the nicest baby bears I have ever seen. They are the nicest baby bears anyone has ever seen. That was a good answer. The three baby bears snuggled. They snuggled down as content as could be. But one day, the first baby bear began to think. He wondered if the other two bears were nicer than he was. Hmm. They had patches, after all, and he did not. Maybe his mommy really, really liked their patches. And the second baby bear began to wonder. Maybe Daddy loves the other two more than me, she thought. They were boy bears. After all, she was not a boy. And the third baby bear began to worry. I'm only the littlest, he thought. Everybody's bigger than me. So that night, the three baby bears asked their daddy bear, Which one of us do you like the most? Who is your favorite? We cannot all be the best. Yes, you can, said daddy bear. I know you can because I heard your mommy say so. When she saw you and Daddy Bear picked up the first baby bear to give him a cuddle, she said. That is the most perfect first baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even with no patches? Patches do not matter at all, replied his daddy as he tucked him in. And when your mommy saw you, Daddy Bear, picked up the second baby bear, she said, that is the most perfect second baby bear that anyone has ever seen. Even if I'm not a boy, girl or boy, it makes no difference, said her daddy, and he hugged her so tight. And when your mommy saw you, said Daddy Bear, 
lifted the last baby bear into his arms. She said, that is the most perfect third baby bear that anyone has ever seen, even if I'm the littlest. Bigly or littlely, we love you just the same. So there, three favorites. You were all my favorites. And the best baby bears in the whole wide world went to sleep as happily as could be because that was a good answer too. Oh. The end. So that was a very sweet story. Mommies and daddies, they love all of their children just the same. It doesn't matter what you look like, how tall you are, anything if you're a boy or a girl, they love each one of you just the same. Just like I love both of my children just the same. And also, Miss Cowan loves all of you, no matter if you're boys or girls, if you know how to read, if you're better at math, if you're better at soccer, you are all good <laughs> at, at something. You all have the strengths that you love, that you are good at, and then we all have the areas that we are all working on and trying to do our best. So that is the lesson that this folktale teaches us, is no matter what, you are loved and everyone is different, okay? I hope that you guys have a great weekend. I'll be driving back into Austin tomorrow for a few days, get some more school things, and then I will be coming back out here to the lake. And it's Easter weekend. I hope all of you get to celebrate with your families, however you guys can do that at home, and then everybody staying safe. Also, please make sure that you're eating healthy foods and that you are figuring out how to exercise at home, um, whether you're doing cosmic yoga or Jack Hartman songs or having dance parties in the living room. Um, make sure that you're moving those little bodies around and getting plenty of exercise. So I miss you guys so much. Okay, take care and I'll talk to you next week.